one of my subscribers asked me to do a every VHS video in Chapter 1 of Poppy Playtime, since I did one on Chapter 2 recently. And I thought that is some easy watch time. I mean, I thought that is something people probably like, so I'm, I'm doing that now. We're finding all the VHS tapes in Chapter 1. I hope you're excited. The first one is right here. It is the green tape, which is a security tape from Leif Pierre that you put in the green VHS right over here. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. That sounds kinda sus. I wonder what those security measures are exactly. Oh, that's the security measure I see. And the next tape is actually in the next room. It's on this table right here. And you put it into that VCR. It shows you how the grab pack works. Tighten the straps. Hold both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto objects. Only fire at small objects slash handles. Do not fire at co-workers. This may cause injury. Wire is conductive. Use for rewiring. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. What's the time? Play time! What a nice video. Very wholesome. The next VHS tape can be found on one of the shelves right here. Behind this shelf that is... Oh, thank you. And after we opened this door, we can put the orange tape into the orange player. I'm not sure what this is actually. Rich, where are they Oh, it's the Huggy boxes, boxes guy. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. Very relatable, that guy. He makes a comeback in another tape in Chapter 2 as well. Once you reach the Make a Friend machine, you can find another tape on here. It is the pink tape. And the pink player is right over here. Just looked like a few inches within so, the VHS. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because Adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the old.
oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Yeah, human bodies do be pretty squishy, that is true. Fun fact also, this voice actor is the same voice actress that uh, that also voices Poppy. Once you've reached the Poppy flower, the last tape is right in your way. You basically can't miss it, and the VCR to play it is right over there. Let's see, what do you Final have for us? In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... Well, that was pretty ominous. I wonder what was happening there. We might be finding out in Chapter 3, when we probably get more information on the Prototype 1006. But for now, that is it. That was all the VHSs that can be found in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again for suggesting that I make this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon with some more Poppy Playtime stuff. Till then, have a good one, y'all. Goodbye.